Most people in sales believe that emotions matter in the decision making process. But how do they know that? And more importantly, how should that influence how you sell? Hi, I'm David Hoffeld, author of the book The Science of Selling, the first sales book based on over 1,000 different scientific studies that reveal how to align how you sell with how the brain is wired to be influenced and make buying decisions. To give you a taste of some of the science backed ideas in my book, in this video, I'll show you what science has proven regarding what emotions do in the decision making process and how to leverage them when selling. Today, because of some recent breakthroughs in the area of neuroscience, we now know how emotions impact decision making and how to sell to potential customers' emotions. Here's what the research shows. Emotions are how our brains assign value and create preferences. As one neuroscientist explains, that it's the logical part of your brain that allows you to look at a person and recognize that she is your cousin. But it's the emotional part of your brain that reminds you that you can't stand her. Additional research has even found that when the brain is experiencing negative emotions, like being in a bad mood, it has a very difficult time making a positive buying decision. So what can you do? when your potential customers are in a negative emotional state, here are six strategies that you can deploy. First, you can display positive emotions. Researchers have found that emotions are contagious and the person who is the most emotionally expressive will infect others. Now, This is why when you're around someone who is very pessimistic or negative, you find yourself feeling down after that encounter. Whereas when you're around someone who is extremely positive and upbeat, you find yourself feeling more optimistic. Second, you can use productive voice inflections. As research has shown that voice inflections heavily influence how others feel. For instance, behavioral scientists Roland Newman and Fritz Strack found that when listening to a speech, participants felt more optimistic when the presenter spoke with an upbeat tone than those who listened to the same speech shared in a downcast tone. But what's more, the tone of voice impacts the listener's emotion so much that it is a key factor in whether or not they will care about what you're saying. In fact, my research identified that the way you speak is one of the key predictors in whether potential customers will rate a sales presentation compelling or not. Third thing you can do is leverage what researchers call the Hawthorne effect which means that when someone is clearly plagued with negative emotions, call attention to them in a respectful, caring way. This will usually weaken the hold of the negative emotions because most people will deny them. So if you say, John, is now still a good time to discuss this? You seem like you might have something else on your mind. John will most likely snap out of his current emotional state and say something like, uh, no, I was just thinking about something that happened earlier today, but uh, Please, please, please go on. Fourth, discuss topics that are naturally rich with positive emotions. For instance, if you conduct some research on your buyer and you know that he coaches Little League, is an avid fisherman, just got back from a vacation, and is the president of a local Toastmasters club, you have numerous topics that you can discuss that are most likely bursting with positive emotions. Now, as you talk about these areas, the positive emotions associated with each will weaken the negative emotions your potential customer is feeling. Fifth, change nonverbal behaviors. Often emotions are linked with nonverbal movements or positions. For instance, when you're feeling depressed, you sit differently than you do when you're feeling extremely confident. Research shows that by having someone shift their body, it'll weaken the negative emotions they're feeling. So for example, you could have your potential buyer lean in or tell a joke to get them to smile. Leaning forward and smiling are both changing their body positions and they'll influence their emotions. What's more, something like smiling helps people feel better because of how it affects our brains. Research shows that the very act of smiling increases blood flow to your brain, which cools it and actually creates feelings of pleasure. Sixth, you can tell stories. Stories are incredibly powerful because the brain processes them differently than regular statements of facts. Our brains don't analyze stories. 
we relive them. We feel what the characters in the story are feeling, especially if the story is told in a certain way, which we discuss how to do in my book, The Science of Selling. And see, this is the reason why we can be moved emotionally by a movie. Now, we know it's fake. We know there are actors on a set surrounded by people saying words that he or she memorized, but we're still moved. Emotions are just one of the many factors that influence the decision-making process that we'll examine in my book, The Science of Selling, because today, the process of making buying decisions is no longer a mystery. There is a science to them. And once you know the rules of this science, you can develop an advantage over your competitors who do not. Don't miss out. Hurry up and order your copy of The Science of Selling today.